Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm just going to be painting my basilisk mini uh, and going through what I'm changing about this creature um, and how I'm using it inside my campaign. So I'm just going to initially just set up the colors I want to do. So you can see I've already done like a layer of black on the top like reverse Pepe Le Pew um, and you'll sort of see why um, as I explained what I wanted to do so it's just sort of it's not really fun for you guys to for you all to watch me painting just black um, so that's why I just did that first so I hope everyone's having a great time I will just go through the initial stats of the basilisk um, ba ba ba, Basilisk is 24. Boom. So here's the... Here's the rendition of the Basilisk. So the Basilisk is a medium monstrosity, unaligned. I'm a class of 15, hit points of... of 52. Speed 20 feet, dark vision and passive perception of 9, petrifying gaze. If a creature starts its turn within 30 feet of the basilisk and the two of them can see each other, the basilisk can force the creature to take a DC 12 constitution save throw if the basilisk, basilisk isn't cup, pass, incapacitated. On a failed save, the creature magically begins to turn to stone and is restrained. It must repeat the saving throw at the end of its next turn. On a success, the effect ends. On a failure, the creature is petrified until freed by greater restoration spell or other magic. A creature that isn't surprised can avert its eyes to avoid the saving throw at the start of its turn. If it does so, it can't see the basilisk until the start of its next turn when it can avert its eyes again. If it looks at the basilisk in the meantime, it must immediately make the save. If the basilisk sees its reflection within 30 feet of it, in bright light, it mistakes itself for a rival target and targets itself as with its gaze. Actions, bite, melee weapon attack, five plus five to hit, reach five feet, one target. 2d6 plus 3 piercing damage plus 7d6 poison damage. So, adaptable predators, gaze of stone. So, that's the base basilisk that we have. So, what I'm going to actually do is buff this up to probably 100, 120 hit points uh, and its natural armor is going to go up to 22. Now that sort of indicates that it's going to be having a stronger natural armor or hide um, and what I'm going to do is, I can't quite remember what I was going to name the basilisk but it was named the obsidian. For some reason um, Desolith I think is it, so let's just call this does a lot of the obsidian for now. So this, uh, these buffs are going to be specifically to its environment that it's in. So this basilisk is going to be a few centuries old and it's going to be living in a dormant volcano. So it's going to be covered in sort of plate of like magma or solidified lava. So that's where you get the sort of 22 armor class. It's going to be large rather than medium um, so we're going to buff up its uh, HP and I'm also going to add an action um, similar to a tree ant where it's going to be able to pick boulders up and throw them with its two front legs um, as well so um, it's going to be a little bit more sort of lava lizard and uh, rather than basilisk so Let's just do a little bit of painting. Um, so I have black on the top. 
Um, and I want to do a violet on the bottom. Apologies about the planes. It's a Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. I live near an airport. So a lot of people are out flying their planes or hiring planes and going for flies with little consideration to my need to film today. I hope everyone's had a really good week or weekend depending on what you're doing. Um, I've had a long week, so I've really wanted to sort of knuckle down and get a lot of filming done this weekend. Um, so we'll see how we go with getting that done, considering these planes. So that's coming out like a nice purple or violet. More like a plum. Plum, plum, plum. Can we get that to focus? And we're going to do the other side as plum. So I'm sure. You've noticed that I might or may be Australian, which is correct. So, we have lots of critters, lizards, snakes, and stuff. And before you ask, no, I don't actually have kangaroos in my backyard. I don't have a backyard. So, sort of purple obsidian. But we do have a lot of lizards and spiders. I don't think I'm going to be able to get as much filming done this weekend as I was hoping. It seems like my neighbours want to be as loud as possible. But anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, so I'm going to work on blending a little bit more on these edge because that's just too sort of extreme so I'll apply some black paint to sort of soften that up a bit more but that will do for now um, so going forward as I was saying Spiders, lizards, kind of commonplace in Australia. Um, I can't use them, so it's not surprising to have a huntsman in your car. Or having a lizard. My partner had a skink in her car once. She definitely had a lot of huntsmen. That's for sure. 
saying this does allow us the obsidian is going to be you know dormant volcano and has adapted and changed themselves changed themselves to be an apex predator in that kind of space my party also is very akin to fire. So, considering they live in a volcano, I think Desolias might be immune to fire. As we saw as we were reading the Basilisk stat, Lock. Not particularly strong, but it's the 30 feet range, home close proximity. That's the problem. So, we may. That causes a lot of issues because you know you've got strained and petrified. Party members. So maybe we'll work around that a little bit more. So I don't really know how my party is going to go with it. Normally, when I create these sort of very difficult, or what I perceive as a difficult encounter, they breeze past it because of some the kind of shenanigan that they have thought of. But with this, I don't have one cleric or one healer in my party, so this might actually be an issue because I don't even think they have greater restoration at the moment. Well, not at least yet. Oops. Got my fingers in there. So I'm not really sure if you like these videos where I'm just sort of talking, put a little background music in, or ambient sound. My last video. That I did for this didn't really get too many views. Now I'm just using basic acrylic paints, as I said in the last video, um, because the miniature paints are acrylic, get really expensive paint when this is the same. Now some people might be going, no, it's not exactly the same, but it's good enough for me, so that's okay. So you can see here, so I'm going to do it back and like do some shading and stuff like that, this is just getting the base colours all done and dusted. I'm not super precious about this. Um, I don't want to be a perfectionist in this sense because I know I'll never get anything done. Don't mind my little cocker spaniel. She is chasing a fly at the moment. She is a apex predator, as it would seem. My kid, she is a couch potato. Oops. Oops. This is just 
that's the first round so far. Too perfect about this because I'll come back and fix the black and and everything like that and do some purple flex and stuff. I do. Go to sleep. So I'm just going to Yeah, so I'm gonna just beef up this basilisk a bit more because my characters I have eight players um all of which are very strong in our own right and very much into they're all very strong in their own right and very much into shenanigans a lot of the time so I need to beef up some of my monsters because they're killing a lot of them in one round or two rounds and it's not very good I mean it's good for them good for me, you know, but that's okay. Again, apologies about all the plain noise, but I really need to, I really want to get some filming done. This is just sort of like a little bit of just sort of incoherent rambles. It's the first video that I'm doing today. I don't know how many videos I'm going to get done today, considering the planes at this hour seems almost constant so I might try and do a little bit of a cityscape or something similar or just try and get over noise by just sort of doing a little bit more. In my previous video I painted a skeleton. It took way longer than I expected and looking at that skeleton I'm unhappy with my quality. It was more just sort of the talking and the aspects of that. So I'll probably repaint that one as well. But I want to see where I'm getting at. I know I'm not really finishing one conscious thought. I know I'm going from one thing to another. But I hope that's fine. I hope you're enjoying my voice. I'm very self-conscious about how my voice sounds, actually. To me, I sound like a Neanderthal. 
oh, 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 oh. me need to go food etc etc these gosh dang planes so we're just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep applying applying so fire resistance my party loves to use fireball and saying that I've got a new wizard at the moment and he loves black tentacles and that's a massive pain for me because it really locks up battles and I need to figure out a way to break his concentration because I normally don't do rear guard attacks or swarms and he's very sneaky and very good at hiding and disengaging out of battle before I can get him so bit of a problem wouldn't you say we're currently going through a BBEG fight at the moment and I've got some roguish assassins in the background to try and get him to lose his distraction, or uh, lose his concentration. And that's been working so far pretty well. But it was quite still difficult to get him to actually break the concentration. It was actually only broken after he went down. And at that stage, the actual monster that he was restraining was dead too. So... What are you going to do? I do wonder what sounds you all like. Is it my voice? Is it my clicks? Is it page turning? Is it the background ambience actual noise rather than my own voice? Because I tend to prat on a bit, don't I? But you click the video, so. Apologies, I'm focusing on the paint rather than in field. You must forgive me, I hope. Um, I'll paint this for a little bit longer and then I'll probably call it and then move on to another video. So, why do I do these videos? I, well, in general, I do these videos because I want to give back to the ASMR community that's really helped me relax. But also, I just want to relax people. So, I do hope you find this relaxing. I hope some of you find my voice soothing. Feedback's always welcome as long as it's constructive. I do hope 
here and drill for this. Let me know if you use basilisks in your fights, in your worlds, or if you faced one as a character. Let me know. I'm going to stop there. Thank you everyone, enjoy your long rest.